there. Yes, indeed. The best thing you can do, though, is use common sense. If it doesn't look like you should go outside, don't go outside. Stay in. Things will start to improve as our morning rolls along. In fact, they're getting a little bit better for the folks to the southeast. They have dry air overhead as the storm system pivots around an area of low pressure. We see that counterclockwise spin. Still lots of snow to our west, and that's where we're going to be seeing the heaviest snowfall totals in our counties, especially up towards the northwest here. Ours already have reports of eight or nine inches in portions of Benton and Morgan County. But dry air is also starting to eat up this snow on its western fringes as well as down south. So that's good for us as things look to be slowly improving, at least for the southern half of the viewing area. Still getting reports of lightning up north with Columbia. So two times in less than a week, we are experiencing thunder snow. A quick check of the temperatures above freezing for Jefferson City at 35, 33 in Sedalia. That's another piece of good news. Uh, you're still seeing snow fall, at least will melt partially as it makes its way to the ground. A wider view shows low pressure is the heart of this system. That's why we have the motion that we're seeing. This is going to pivot towards the northeast, taking all this moisture with it as the day continues. We use 12 o'clock as our benchmark for things to basically uh, improve drastically across the viewing area. Down south, it's going to be coming a little bit earlier as that heavy snow progresses towards the north. Throughout the rest of the day, though, we could see a little bit of light snow or some flurries. Moisture levels are going to decrease as we roll into tonight and tomorrow. But an upper air disturbance will work with what little moisture we still have left. It's going to bring some more snow for Wednesday. It's looking like maybe an inch, inch and a half at most across mid-Missouri. We have about 5 to 10 on the ground. I don't think that inch will make much of a difference. We'll start to clear out late Wednesday into Thursday when we can maybe see a few flurries those clouds can linger. Now our accumulations for today, it's looking like two to four inches for the folks in our southeastern counties, four to eight stretching from Jefferson City towards Montgomery City as well as the lake. Move this eight to 12 inch track down towards the southeast a little bit. It encompasses more of Montauk and Morgan County as, as well as Columbia and the folks in our far northwestern counties could maybe get more than a foot as that's where most of the snow is going to be staying. Temperatures will average in the mid to upper 30s. We'll see snow, then it's also going to be quite windy at times and cold tonight. We're down to 29, maybe some lingering light snow. Here's the seven day forecast showing more of the same tomorrow. At least temperature wise, snow will be much, much lighter, maybe an inch when everything is said and done by the end of Wednesday. We stay in the 30s through the first part of the weekend and then we're warming up for next week in the 40s. OK, just get can't the come next. too soon. That's right. The sunshine sounds fabulous. It certainly does.